Okay guys, welcome again to another video on the Fox Tech. Today we're diving into a practical topic that some of you might find handy, and it is how to use the ruler on your iPhone. Now, don't worry, it's a straightforward process that won't eat up much of your time, so iPhones are equipped with a built-in application called Measure, which is designed precisely for this purpose. So let's get started. First things first, locate the Measure app. If you cannot find it, just go to the app library and go ahead and look it up like this. So here is the uh, Measure app. So it probably is somewhere in the utilities folder if you cannot find it in here. So it really doesn't matter, but basically just open it up like this and take a look at the bottom of the screen. You'll notice two main features, which is the measure and a level. So today we're focusing on the measure function. So go ahead and tap on that. As you can see, I am already inside. And now you are basically supposed to like move around and stuff. And you're supposed to position the circle at the initial point that you want to measure. Now, so for example, let me just show it to you right now. Like there has to be some kind of 3D object which is moving around. So your iPhone knows about this space that is aware of its surroundings. So you have to move your iPhone like this. So it finds out about your area. And as I said, there's going to be the circle right here. So you can see right here, I'm going to begin by this. So I'm going to click on start. Then I'm going to move the point to the right. And let's see, I'm going to measure it all right up until this point. So I'm going to click on plus like this. And you can see this exact portion has been measured. Like the part of my cabinet right here has been measured using the ruler on your iPhone. So it's very simple to use. You can tap on it. You can see that it's exactly 22 inches, which is one foot and 10 inches and 56 centimeters. So it's really useful. But the Measure app offers additional flexibility. You can pause and resume points as you go, which provides you a seamless measuring experience. While there are other ruler applications out there, the Measure app stands out for its simplicity and convenience, and it's also the, the go-to choice for many users. However, I want to quickly touch up on something else when it comes to ruler. What you may be referring also is the ruler when you, for example, let me just go ahead and open up any photo and click on edit. So I'm going to click on edit like this. And if I just click on the markup, you can see that some different things show up as well. And, and one of the options is ruler. You can see it is right here at the bottom. So I can just measure it. You can see you can um, rotate it as much as you like. And you can use the ruler to pr schedule precisely like this. I'm going to click on and select it. And I'm just going to basically play with it this way. So the ruler allows me to be a perfect with my straight lines and with my edits. So this is another possible ways how you can use ruler on your iPhone and it is inside the editing feature inside of the photos app. So these are the two options how you can use it. But before we wrap up, I'd like to take a moment to share something exciting, which is the Fox Tech educational platform. I've been working on it and you can access it for free. It's going to be linked down below in the description. And there are some courses you can watch, uh, namely the uh, in-depth dynamic island course, some explained apps and social media video editing course. More to come in the future, but for now, these are the things which are available. Definitely go ahead and check it out. It's free to access. For now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.